Hey, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic and I'm on the Bohemian server and we are, of course, playing this beautiful vintage story. And I um, have spent a couple of in-game days since Salty's stream today, gathering up a whole bunch of stuff. She is a complete inspiration to me, guys. I went over and I got a tour of her castle and she is so creative and she just makes me want to build on mine. So. And I did, during her stream, use some of my um, slate to do a little bit more roofing, but I did recently, in the last couple in-game days, get more slate and more limestone. I got quite a bit of it. I didn't stop. I brought food and everything is good. I got a box full of stuff. So we're going to get started on that. It is 7.30 in the morning on the 29th of February. Woohoo! Let's get going. Okay, I'm hoarding bowls over here, um, but this is what I got. I got quite a few bricks. I should have made more stairs, but then I decided to go ahead and leave a few blocks out. This was just a random stack that I had. I got quite a few cobblestone. I don't know how far that's going to get me, though. And that's my oak. I went and chopped down a big oak tree by the community center that was kind of it. I think it had been struck by lightning or something. And then this is my roofing. So I have some random numbers here because I did have a little bit left. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do to start. We're going to take this, this, and the outside corners, and these and these. And we're going to start on the roof. Let me show you what I've done because I think what I need to do is really concentrate on get getting this castle enclosed so I don't have to worry about... Um, you know, the snow, the damn snow. Okay, let's start in here. I obviously have some sort of issue here. See, the snow is piling up here, even though I've got roofing there. Those inside corners really tweak me. But here we've got the room. This wall I widened, and I did put do this wall in limestone brick, and then this wall is in as well because I want to put inset lighting in here so we'll see how that goes I, those should be chiseled and then I'll put some lighting in those it's like I have this one higher than that one but we'll see uh, and then I went ahead and did the floor in here in oak and then this is going to be a fireplace that goes up a double decker fireplace and then this floor in oak these are two little bedrooms and then I went ahead and put doors in here with the stairs like this and of course these are all going to be chiseled and maybe add material to the chiseling is going to take me forever um i did move this staircase over one um and then this is just the staircase up and then here we have the roof almost completed over here and this wall almost completed so that's what I did during Salty's stream, at the end of her stream. Um, obviously, I missed some... I need to figure out what's going on there. I need another strip of this uh, granite, call of uh, the limestone cobblestone right there. So this is going to be a floor. Here is the um, double-decker fireplace. So this is going to be the library, and this is going to be the throne room. I'm going to make myself a big throne, probably up against this wall. Um, and then I'll be able to look at the fireplace and we'll be able to look at the library. And then, of course, this is looking straight down into the Great Hall. Now, you can see where I left off with the roofing. I didn't... I did a lot, but it's there's still so, so much. So... We're going to go up here now and continue this side because I'd like to get this figured out. The other thing I did um, was I started going down in making a dungeon area in this area and I pushed this wall out. So I just took these materials that were here and pushed it out. I obviously ran out. And this is going to be an area that I can get down into dungeons and stuff. And look how foggy. It's already creepy down here. So I'd like to get a roof on this as well. 
How is that going to work into this? That is something we have to figure out. So there's um, going to be a little secret passageway uh, that I'm not willing to show yet. I will show that later once I have it completely ready. Okay, let's get up here and start putting on this roof. Can I jump over there? Gosh, you guys, I have fallen so many times. Okay, so we're going to start right here. I'm just going to put a few of these on my bar. Why did I only grab one stack? That was dumb. So what I'm doing is I'm just figuring this out as I go uh, because I need to think about the um, rooms down below because I want the roof to make sense. Inner corner here. Um, Salty is going to be working on chiseling. Salty or I, we're pro both probably going to be working on chiseling something that works better for the um, inner corners because th these inner corners suck. They suck. We're going to go this way first instead, uh, just so I can figure out this side of it and how this intersects. Um, I need one more there. And then an inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and use all the inner corners, even though they stink. And then we'll figure something out with them later. Ugh, this is getting so dangerous. Okay, so now this is going to come over like this. We're meeting back up there. I'm not sure that's going to work. So this is going to be a separate little thing. I'm not sure how that's going to work either. Um... You know what? I think I'm going to back up here a little bit and I'm going to take some of these down because I think that I may be needing to go from the other side first. Um, let's go down and pick all that up. Because this is going to be a wall right here. And it's going to intersect. Let's do the walls before we do. The roof. Hmm. I haven't thought about the second story over here, guys. I haven't thought about it. Okay, let's figure out these windows right here first. That way I can figure out what needs to happen here. So we know that this is going to be a solid wall because this is going to be... Um, storage inside there it's going to be a little storage room and dungeon entrance so we can basically fill this up right here and then go from the outside and figure out those are windows so how tall will those need to be let's grab Okay, one more. I go through materials so fast. And you know what? Some of this I might be replacing with little bricks to kind of just um, accent. But that's okay. Oh, that's one too high. Okay, we'll take these off because this will be flooring too. Yep, 
Yep, just keep hurting yourself, hippie. Okay. So, I think... I think that's good for the windows. And what we'll do is we'll take this one out. And then we're going to need to put these in. Because this is what I'm framing every window with. Like that. And let's go out and look at that from... And see, make sure it matches the rest of the build. Yeah, I like those nice tall windows. Okay, well, let's start going up a little bit. So we can match that over there. So let's back up. Go backwards and get across. I don't know if this is right, but either way, it'll be okay. Let's count these. It's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, so that's how tall this roof is going to be. Here. So now what we can do... Oh, is start the roof right here on this side okay so now we have a structure over this walkway so that's what this roof will look like all the way going down um and i'm gonna have to figure out this little thing and then this one will start going this way this roof and it will just be a square roof as much as I can make it around this corner. So let's see if we can do that. So I can get this covered up. I have the outside corners I do. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. Whoa. I'm telling you guys, this is precarious work. Precarious. I'm glad I caught onto that ladder. I'm going to die. I just know it. Okay, so this has actually got to be... I don't remember. I don't know what that, that's going to be. What that's going to be. It's got to be an inside or an outside because I'm making a turn there. Probably an inside corner. So this is an outside corner. We'll put that right there. And go this way again. I think the next thing we need is to get down here and go backwards with our cobblestone and trace this line here how many is it is that is that right i don't think it is yeah i think that's right okay let's go this way i'm risking it i think that's right One more, and then we'll go that way. These videos take so much editing. Because I have so many pauses and
Okay, so now we have this one framed out. Now this, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I just know that we need to fill that in. This will probably be a spiry roof right there. So now we know that this needs to be an inside corner and the other one needs to be an outside corner. So right here, we'll go like that. And then this, we're going back around like this. And then an outside corner. And then back around like this. Because that is the courtyard, so we're not going to be covering that. And this is all going to need um, roofing down below, too. One below, so it looks right. Well, guys, I've worked on all night, all day and all night. And I did finish that roof up there. But right now, I have to go grab some food because I'm out of food. All those little bowls of food I had are gone. My road is right over here. And I would just... I'm going to show you guys something that's weird that's happening with stairs during the snow. It seems... The stairs seem to expand. And then once I dig it out, I'm going to show you. I've never seen this before. Once I dig it out and put it back, it will be fine. Um, and that one turned fine too. Mmm, weird. See that one? Let's dig this out. It's taller. So is that one. That one is taller too. Let's look. See, it's taller. Taller than the other block. It happened to all my stairs in the castle too. So let's take this one out. That one is still taller now. Doing a little experiment. And it fixed that one. No, it didn't. It's still taller. It's weird. Okay, I'm going to go get some food. But guys, I made some blue dye. Um, look at that. I have a whole bunch. I have four barrels of 40 um, liters of blue dye. So that means that I can make, um, oh, come on. It means that I can make um, blue uh, cloth for chairs and things like that. Uh-oh, looks like Salty left her lantern. Yep, that's me. I'm hungry. Okay, as I'm warming up, you can see what I've done. I did an outline. I think I outlined that on camera, and then I did it. Uh, the the building there and then I put the roof on so now what I need to do is I have an idea for this little spot right here and then I have an idea out for out front um, so I want to do that because I'd like to get a roof on this so this is going to be a little bit of a tower that you're not going to be able to go up into it's going to be kind of a lighthouse tower um, so let's go let's go figure that out and I'll show you the roof that I did. So here it is. It looks pretty good. Um, I I really had to work on getting the... Um, let's get a little walkway here. Really had to work on getting the... Um, the corners and the ins especially the inside corners worked out let's do this this way and then i put a beam up there but i don't like it right light right there i'm gonna move it so it is over i don't know how i'm gonna do that that's probably gonna move because I have that wall going up there. And what happened to this? So what I was going to try to do is figure out if I could do stairs right here. So let's do that really quick. I don't think I really have. I don't have stairs right now. I made all of my limestone into bricks, which was probably a mistake. But what we can do is we can kind of frame it out and see if it's even going to work. So let's do this.
That actually does work. Okay. Well, that works then. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and take this one out. And this one out. Excellent. So we'll put stairs up there to get up to that second story. I want to make sure I haven't lost anything up here. There's snow down here now. Okay, so we'll put in um, brick stairs here to get up to this story. So this thing I want to, it is not square, but it is symmetrical. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It is symmetrical. And we're going to go up this way. I'll figure out the windows and the walls later, but this is going to, this log is going to come down. I'm not happy with it. And uh, it's in the way right now, and I think it needs to be moved. I do want this to look supported, so we're gonna be we're gonna be putting in some some of those big beams sometime soon. But so but right now, I just need corners on this like that, and then we're gonna go. I think we're going to take this section of the roof out because I want this to be wall too. This. I do like the way the blocks adhere to the roof. And that's probably tall enough for this section. So let's do that over here then. Other idea I had was to make this into a little area that we could walk out on down below. And I will show you that in a minute. Um, I, I lay here and I think about my build in bed. So um, that's why I have new ideas every day. and. Like I said, this is uh, Balmoral inspired, but n not going to look exactly like it when I'm done. I mean, there's no way I could make it look exactly like it anyway, but. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, I like that. Okay, we'll have to figure that edge out just to make it look. Well, maybe we'll chisel it. But that is going to be a little tower. And what we'll do is we'll put another roof on it. I think it needs to go a little higher, though. A little higher. And then what I was thinking out here is what we would do. Do I have enough bricks on me? Is come up with... I want it to be odd numbers. So let's figure this out really quick. From here, um, one... Let's get rid of the grass, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven. That would probably be big enough. And then come maybe up to there. That way I can chisel this. And we're gonna make a little pad little roof here that I can all of this is going to have chiseled areas underneath the roof to give it awesome detail and this is also going to have chiseling un hanging underneath the edges uh, probably with the whitest rock I can find or chalk or e maybe even plaster because I love the white plaster um, but we're going to make this into um, a little area that we can reach from the top and kind of an entryway, fancy entryway, that will chisel like crazy. That will be beautiful. You guys, I hope you're looking forward to chiseling episodes because there's going to be a lot of them. Yeah, that's not going to mess with that entryway too much. There's going to be spiry roofs right there and right there. This is going to go up higher with a spiry roof that I'm going to have to chisel. 
This is going to end up being a dormer right there, so it'll have windows. And I'll do something fancy up on that roof, probably. So now let's go up there and make that a little higher. Okay, this should be a fairly easy roof to do. Hopefully I'm doing, um, hopefully I have enough. I'm going to have to go get more. Probably going to have to take a collection break here pretty soon. Oh, please don't fall, hippie. Okay, do I have my outer corners? I do. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Guys. Oh, no. No. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, now we need these. Let's put these on. I'm putting these on the ends. Um, They don't go on the top very easily, though. Like, I have to point, okay, that's not where I wanted it, but it will be a good placeholder for that one. And then I wanted another one right here on this end. Well, see, that's what happens. They go underneath. Take that one out, let it drop. Put one there, and then take this one back out. Go get it. And then one of these in the middle. Uh, these ones. There we go. Now, how do I get down out of here? Now, I really do have to put these along the edges. Uh, so let's jump down there. So I have to do this all along the edges. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll take a look at it from back. Oh, and if I'm going to do that, this needs another row of bricks. Just because I don't like those windows when they are right up against... the roof. I got it done barely. I just take out this um, piece of dirt here and the la the ladders. What I did was I jumped and I walked along this edge to get that in the edges. And then this is not gonna this is not gonna be a place where you can go. Like I'm not gonna I'm gonna make this like I'm gonna put a light in there. Oh god I hope that it's yeah, there's a center. There's a center. So let's do... Um, let's do this. Let's put in um, a beam right across here. Let's hope I have enough. Um, let's go ahead and put in a floor. We want this to be nice up here, so we might as well use bricks. And then... A beam this way and then we'll hang a lantern right from that middle one coming down and then I think I want to decorate this a little bit more but I don't know how yet so I'm gonna think on that but this is the perfect little um, We'll chisel this edge to do something with this blunt edge. Um, but now we have a little light tower. And that kind of mixes with the roof. I think, obviously, I'm going to have to do something right in here because I don't want this to be open. Maybe we could take some blocks like that and we'll look and see what that looks like down below. Um, but I am definitely leaving myself no place to get down. Um, Right here, maybe? Oh, geez. So this is where we're going to open up right here and get onto that thing we just built out back or out front. My blocks are dropping. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll do that. Oh, I don't have any more. Okay. Oh. Ow. Okay, let's go. Let's go sleep. Oh, sleep and grab some more blocks. Oh, it makes, it's making me hungry. Oh, yay. Wow. Look at this, you guys. Dang. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Okay, let's eat. So the food that I grabbed is rotting. Um, we had a lot of meat. Look, it's, uh, oh, it's 91% spoiled. Ouch. Okay, for here, what I want to do is... So I want to make it... Yeah, I want to make it so there's stairs going down. So we'll just pop this full of these beautiful bricks. Now, some of these bricks I may be replacing later with small bricks. But for now, I am just basically getting um, a lot of the structure done. Um, why doesn't that work? There we go. We'll just go ahead and do that like that. Then we'll put in these few stairs that I have left right there. And then this is going to be, we're going to chisel something along here like that, probably like that, and then like that. And then this will be chiseled. These are going to be chiseled round with the spirey thing up. So this won't look blocky anymore. And then this is a way we can look down on people approaching, which is cool. Let's go down there now. See, here's another stair that did a weird thing with snow. That's what they do. It's weird. And then once you take it out and put it back, it'll be fine. But look at that. Don't know. It's weird. I'll go through and fix all of that at some point. See, those stairs are doing it too. It's like they swell up. Oh yeah, that's really nice. That makes it look like a really nice little entrance. And it will be um, way fancier once I get the chiseling idea down. Because there will be chiseled rings around this bottom of it. And then we need to obviously fill this in. There we go. And this will all be chiseled around here as well. Very nice. I like it. And then once we, uh, we're going to do this road and this road is all going to be lined with, um, nice bricks too, but we're not going to concentrate on that quite yet. Okay. Since this has a roof now, I can get the snow out of here and I can also line this. This was all dirt and I don't want to be seeing dirt in here. So we're going to get this lined. This is an entrance to the dungeon. I don't mind the clay stone, but I might replace it later as well. Let's see. Um, I'm going to have to dig this dirt out, I think, because I want this this height. And more cobble. There we go. That looks better. Down to the dungeons. We go with you. And this can be shoveled out now, too. Slowly getting rid of the snow in here so we can start working. Okay, I went and got some food. Um, some of the meat that Salty had cooked. Now I want to finish this right here. I need to get another stack of cobble. It's so nice to be able to get some of this done. Um, not there. Here, let's grab a couple stacks. And let's figure out the windows, because I think I want windows in this just like that down there. So if we go up here and this would be um, the start of a window, and then this would also be a window. So let's just mark that so I know where they're going to be. I'm lining the windows with bricks. We are getting another mod um, for the windows, which I'm looking forward to. It's called Cottage Windows, um, and we're getting the tall and modular ones. Cottage Windows used to be... Maybe I should have windows here, too. Cottage Windows used to be... Um, one mod. Wait, the floor. I got to make sure I'm... The floor is going to be... I 
guess it doesn't matter where the floor is. And this is the floor height here. So that should be the floor height there. So this has got to go up one. Um, sorry, cottage windows used to be one big mod and apparently it was so big that it was causing problems. Um, so they've divided it into a couple of different mods. Um, oh, damn it. Now you can do um, the kind of windows you want separately. So like we're going to, I think we're going to get the tall and modular ones. Um, okay, so that matches up with the floor level now. So this will be, okay. Then this is going to have to come out, this ring right here. But not this wall. This wall will stay here. Actually, no, because I yeah, no, that's okay. I want I want these to look. Sorry guys, when I'm building, that's why I suffer making building videos because I I always I can't concentrate. Okay, that's gonna now let's figure out the windows over here. Because I do want to have some windows in here. Oh wait, that needs to be this level, right? This level. And then what do we got here? Let's do two long skinny windows then. Like this. Because this is going to go continue up to there. And then this is going to be windows here. And here. So this can continue up. Come on. And then how tall do we want these windows? I don't know. Yeah, see, see that those are way too tall. So let's make them as tall as these are. So if they're one, two, three, four, five, six total. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six total. So we need two. And then a brick. Two. Am I out of cobble again? Yep. And then bricks. Yeah, that looks nice. Yay, that looks nice. Very nice. I like it. Okay, I need to go up there and add. I need to take out that cobble and add brick there and then I need to decide what's going to happen with that wall. thought we could do a three wide window right here. I'm putting in this floor behind us. Now all these floors might change later. I don't know but I really like the oak. It's really warm. I always like building with oak. Is that it already? I went through all my flooring. Jeez. Wow. I got to go get some more. Um, and then uh, let's put, let's make this window a little taller. This is going to look down on the courtyard. One more. We'll see if this is right from below when the sun comes up. There we go. Now, do we keep this, do we keep this a wall? Or do we keep it open? Don't know yet. Here is this room above the storage room and entry to the dungeon and it's all roofed. And then here's this. Now I need to decide whether I'm going to section this off and section this off. I don't know yet, um, but I think the next thing I want to do is work on the kitchen um, because I would like to get it closed off so we could it so it's functioning. Uh, we don't really need a functioning kitchen, but it is nice to have that part of it done so because we have the functioning kitchen at the 
at the community center. I'm going to leave those ladders for now because we still have to work on that roof. And then I need to decide what's going on here. Those kind of look cool open, but I don't know what I'm going to use that for yet. So, and these ladders can come down. I have ladders everywhere. Well, guys, I am working out the kitchen right now, and I see this bear is trapped in, it looks like, in my, uh, that is at the edge of my great tower. I did see him earlier, like, a sprint by here chasing some animal. <laughs> I'm just hoping he's really stuck. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of sick of bears. So what I'm doing right now is I'm working out the walls so we can put a roof on this place. And what I'm doing is just kind of going around. Um, and I actually, I actually grew the kitchen out that way by one block because I just didn't feel like it was big enough. I'm going to have a central, um, uh, like, uh, the camp, the cook fires are going to be right there and it's going to go up to like a hood. Look at this beautiful, beautiful place. Take a moment. Oh. It is minus 16 and 6.50 in the morning. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Look at these mountains behind us. Beautiful, beautiful. And a bear. Okay, back to work here. We're going to go back down here and we're going to put up. These are cobble. I'm trying to mix and match it so it looks nice. And then um, that's going to be a big window, but I don't know how big. So we're going to go ahead and put um, some more bricks there. So let's go down and just kind of give it a look from in here. I mean, that's going to be a nice kitchen. The big bay window. We can put our sinks right there in front of it. And then I have a little window out here to the apiary. So let's do that. That'll be nice because that's the apiary. We can put a little cover over the door. That's going to be brick. That's not supposed to be there. And then this is going to be open to the tower. So that's going to end up being a door of some sort, which we don't really, we don't really need a door on it. And that like that. Okay, this is probably tall enough for the first story. The second story is going to be a um, windmill and we're not going to, we might make like a little break room up there, a windmill and a break room. Um, Cause this is where the people are going to come to cook and they're going to need a break. They're going to have a, they're going to have a little lunch room. I think that this is all going to be brick though, right in here. I'm getting low on bricks again already guys. It's crazy. Yeah, I hear that bear. Well, at least he can't get to me now in here. Yep, there he is. Or she. Gonna have to dispatch that thing some sometime soon. Okay, so I think because I need... I think I need one more ring on that, and then we'll be able to put, like, some sort of roof on this, and then we'll figure out the second story. So I'm gonna do that really quick. bear and a bunny. I am on my last stack of cobble and I am on my last stack of bricks. So that means that I am going to not get much further before I need to um, go get more. So there it is. So that other than bricks right there, let's go ahead and put those bricks in. Um, yeah, these all need to be bricks. We 
You can't get me, bear. Okay, an enclosed kitchen. There we go. Now we just have to figure out what we want to do up here. Um, and I will think about that. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me on this episode. I had a ton of fun working on the castle, and that bear did finally chase me off. So uh, I tried to throw some stones at him, and he got really mad and cornered me for a little while. But I just jumped down and ran away. I think he's still over there somewhere. But thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode, and I will see you soon. Happy New Year's. Stay safe out there. Find that line where it's safe and fun at the same time. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you next year.